What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. If you just noticed that you can play Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remastered on the Xbox Game Pass instead of Steam and you want to transfer your save or vice versa, transfer your save from the Xbox version to the Steam version, here's how you do it. All that you need to do is move your save file between two folders. These two folders are super simple to find. First of all, your Steam save folder. For this, hold start and press E to bring up a new file browser. Then inside of here, head across to documents or C users your username and documents. Then inside of here, look for my space games. Inside of here, Oblivion Remastered, saved. And in the save games folder here, you have all of your different save files in one very simple place. Sort by date, and you'll have the newest one at the very top, although it should be one of the bigger ones with a bunch of text and your character's name. To get to your Xbox app's saves, hold Start or the Windows key and press R to bring up this Run dialog. Inside of here, type percentage, local app data, percentage, as such, and hit Enter. This will open up C users, your username, app data, local. Inside of here, click anywhere and type P-A-C-K to jump to packages of here. Open it up. Inside of here, you'll see a bunch of different things based on what you have in your system. Look for Bethesda Softworks dot project alter. This is Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remastered. Open this up and you'll see a bunch of different folders here. Inside of the system app data folder, followed by WGS and a bunch of random characters, you'll find a bunch of different folders. And inside of each of them, a couple of hundred kilobyte files. These files are actually your save files. So again, percentage, app data percentage, local, packages, Bethesda Softworks, project alter, system, app data, WGS, and inside of here, or inside of this random long named folder, you've got a bunch of different folders. Each of these are unique saves, so sort by date modified here to find which ones are around at which date. Opening up the latest one to replace that or to move it out, you're looking for the biggest file here. Okay. So with our Xbox Game Pass save folder and our Steam save folder, how exactly do we move between these two? Well, it's really simple. Sort by date and find the save that you want to play with. For me, I'll be taking my Steam save over here and placing it in the Xbox Game Pass folder. For this, I'll need to fire up the Xbox Game Pass version at least once, make a save at any stage, and then come back here. Open up the latest save folder, find this long string of random characters, and hit F2 with it selected to rename it. Then I'll add .old to the end, or just move this file out to somewhere like your desktop. Then find your Steam file, copy the save, and paste it into this folder here. Once you've done so, take the original name of the original save file and rename your Steam save, including .sav, with that. Once you do this, you'll be prompted about changing your file extension, click yes, and now you've successfully transferred your save. Great. To do it the other way around, just log into the Steam version once, make a save at any stage, rename this temporary save, something like .old, copy your Game Pass save into your Steam folder, and then rename this long string of characters to the original save game name. So for example, that. Just like that, you've now moved your save from the Xbox app to Steam and previously Steam to Xbox. Now we can actually test it. So all you need to do is fire up the game on either platform, whichever one you moved to. And once you get back in game, I mean, it wants to set this up again. It's fine, whatever. We'll reach the menu and here, confirming that, load. We've got both of our saves here. I've got my original Xbox Game Pass save here, Kevin, played just one minute, and my actual Steam save file here with about 40 minutes of game. Gameplay in it. Clicking our Steam save, yes, we'll load straight into it with our same character, same inventory, place, and everything. And there we are. We're back where we left it. Perfect. Anyways, that's really that. Just a quick note, if you didn't see that rename file pop up or it didn't work, make sure the file name is absolutely correct. Inside of any folder on your system, whether it's the Xbox Game Pass folder that you're moving to or the Steam folder that you're moving to, head across to View followed by Show and then make sure file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10, you'll instead find on the ribbon bar at the very top, View, and those two checkboxes on the far right. After both of those are ticked, you should be able to rename the file name. For moving to Xbox, make sure there's no extension, it's just a bunch of random characters. And for Steam, your save file has some descriptive text, followed by .sav. Super important to get the container correct, but once you do, you'll be back in game in no time. Anyways, that's really that. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.